right, cool. Here we are. Where are we? We are at the Hagua Bay Car Camping Campground. So this is some unfamiliar territory for Old Ridge outside here. Um, we're just uh, on our way up to Quetico, so we're just doing a little stopover. We've already driven, what would you say, like nine hours or so today? Like oh, that. sorry, this rope is gonna be a pain. Um, so yeah, we're just uh, stopping here for a night, um, just so we didn't have to do like a 14 hour drive up to my brother's place in Thunder Bay. So yeah, so we'll just get our tent set up and kind of just have a normal night. We got some food um, in Sault Ste. Marie and just brought it up here, so we won't be actually cooking anything on the fire or anything tonight, but um, yeah. So I guess I'll just help Matt get going. Uh, we also have an, an exciting development, this new MSR tent. Uh, what is this tent called? Elixir 3. Yeah, okay, cool beans. I guess I'll let you know tomorrow how she does. <laughs> cool. All right, I should get doing something. Manny, what have you got there? New grinder. The new wild grind? <laughs> the new wild grind. Nice. Super fancy. No kidding. Uh, probably all handmade by some artisan. Of course, with a beard and a leather apron. Yeah, but smooth. <laughs> Better than the MSR? The GSI. Or the yeah, GSI, yeah, yeah. my totally. apologies. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Listen, I didn't sleep, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. She's smooth. Sweet. I can't wait for the first coffee from it. Yes, you can have it if you want. Oh, wow. Look at that. <clears throat> it's because he's on camera. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to sneak some climbing in between that. Um, but yeah, things are looking good. If the weather holds out, we're all set to go. So yeah, so I'm just uh, saying goodbye to the lake here until we see it on the other shore. So we were just uh, driving, we left the campground earlier and then we saw there was the Old Woman Bay scenic um, area. So we just pulled in here um, just for a couple minutes just to check it out. It is very beautiful. There's all kinds of people here just milling around, taking photos and stuff, it's really cool. Yeah, this is awesome. We um, wanted to stop for some coffees, but there wasn't really anywhere that we could find just off the highway that was open or didn't you know, have a huge line already. So we decided to stop and just make one. So we pulled over at this uh, picnic scenic area um so i'm just taking bucky for a little bit of a tootle around here just to kind of stretch our legs while matt's back there we're just using our um stove all of our camping gear to just make coffee why not so yeah this is nice
<laughs> Good girl, bud. Perfect. That didn't take long, eh? You whipped up two coffees, nice and quick. Oh yeah. Awesome. Quick stop. That's a uh, that's perfect. So we didn't have to find somewhere to stop, eh? Mm -hmm. Well, this is a nice place to stop if you look out there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've already been over there. <laughs> Cool. Nice. We're just doing. Oh, we got some people coming up here, of course. As soon as I turn on my camera, I look like a moron talking to myself. Woo! There we go. Okay. Nice. Okay, I think we're at the put in, so we're just going to have a little group meeting about um, what exactly we want to accomplish today, where we think we want to go, where we want to stay, all that fun stuff. So, you probably can't even see me right now. I'm like carrying so much stuff. Um, yeah, cool. And then I'll show you on the map where we end up today. Awesome. Woo! We be in the same boat? Or, or does Buck go with? So I don't think we're out here. Oh my god. Look at the little Suki Do you want a hand, Maddie? No. Okay. okay. Right, you want to do Lucy, Lucy stay here. Stay, Lucy. Come here. <laughs> Alright, sweet. So we just set off here. Stanton Bay. We have our uh, two boats fully loaded. I'm with my brother, Matt, uh, again. <laughs> He's, uh, yeah, it's pointing at me this time right now. Um, we have Lucy and Starbuck in our boat, so say a little prayer for us, because we're... Lucy, please we're, stop moving. We're tipping back and forth here. Uh, no problem. So, yeah, hopefully we'll find a nice place to stay tonight. So maybe somewhere on uh, Pickerel Lake, maybe somewhere farther. Who knows? It's uh, really hot. Whoa! Hey! No! No! Maybe we're just stronger on these respective sides. <laughs> yep. Isn't that awful? Like it's like exponentially larger than this. Yep. No, no. no. Uh, sorry, I should have kept the head. No, it's okay. It's okay, we'll go ahead. Lucy, stop. Who says you can't bring three dogs? Yo, you got Cheetos? Sweet. It's in confusion. Just to get a good this illusion. Yeah, like, so we're pretty close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it would be incredible. Oh. No, I don't. This is a little sketchy to be in. What's his wife's name? Uh, Jess. Jess, okay. For some reason I thought it was Allison. I'm like, no, they live in Alliston. Uh, they live in Barry. Barry. Hey, yep. Hey, hey. Lucy is like routinely sitting on the side. Like with her butt. Yep. And her tail has been dragging in the water. She's a special creature. Yep. Sweet. So we are just on Ron Lake. We made it um, in here. I'm not quite sure how many kilometers. I think probably about 12 or so. Uh, we were really hoping to get one of the island sites. One of them's taken. There's one island left to check. And then there's only two other shore sites. We already saw somebody on the first one. So, I mean, hopefully we'll be able to find somewhere to stay in here. Um, I mean, it's one of those deals where you can technically stay anywhere you want. However, during your little orientation, they somewhat discourage that. 
But hey, here's hoping that uh, this other island is available and then that the plan will somewhat come together. <laughs> Yes, we went in backwards and it was much harder, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so Okay, yay, we made it. So we did get, uh, I'm like all out of breath from just hauling those canoes up. We did get the second island on Ron Lake, which is amazing. Um, this looks like a really great site. And someone has graciously left us some wood, it looks like there. Yeah, nice uh, view. And then we got Bucky over there. Perfect. So I think that was about 12 kilometers in today. We'll probably just like base camp it here for the next little bit, next couple days. Um, oh, 15K, there we go, okay, cool. Yeah, so, oh my gosh, I need to just get doing something here. I need to drink some water and just kind of get started. I'm getting really hungry. Cause even with the time change, it's it's uh, five to five. So I guess this morning, it, you know, our time would have been five to six. So it does feel a little bit later for us. You know, the jet lag. <laughs> I'm just like cruising around and then I realize my elastic is gone from the bottom of my braid and like all day my braid has just been slowly unraveling. Like my sanity, I guess, I don't know. Like my GoPro mount broke and my braids coming undone and I don't know man, I'm losing it. <laughs> cool. Nice, not a bad oh, little yeah, sandwich here. Yeah. Actually, it's not bad. Look at the stone goes all the way out over yeah. there. Yeah. Swim out to that rock. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! Ah! Oh, lovely. Suck. <laughs> hungry, hungry hippos. Right? You are hungry, hungry hippos. Are you hungry, hippo? Is it feeding time at the zoo? Oof, so cute. It's the cutest pooches. Look at these little angels. Now they're being angels. I couldn't have said that 24 hours ago. <laughs> Welcome to the new tent. So this is the new MSR tent. Um, I know I kind of introduced it at our Lake Superior Park um, site there, but I didn't, uh, I wasn't really feeling it that day to do the review. Um, so here we are, we are on Ron Lake. Like I said, we got actually lucked out and got one of those island sites. Um, so yeah, this is our new tent. Comes complete with um, roommate there <laughs> uh, and beautiful view also, can't be beat. Um, yeah, it's actually great. So there's lots of space in here, as you can see. Woo. Um, it's actually quite long. I'm right now just sitting right to the back of it um so yeah it's awesome matt's like about six feet tall kind of thing just over and it's perfect for him we have a little bit more width um with the dog and i think the main part of that is because the sidewalls actually kind of go up a little more as opposed to dome like the other tent did um my brother and staff are using the other tent and it's like breaking my heart because it's my baby but that's okay um yeah so i do like this tent it's got a lot of pockets oh Okay, he's on the outside. That other little guy. Uh, I was like, oh no, my hair. Um, yeah, so there's like lots of pockets and stuff and, and pockets up here um, on the other side. And then lots of little areas you could like hang your, your lights or whatever. So, you know, it's pretty cool. Maybe not um, what I would want to use in like October or something. Because it seems like it might be a little cool. Because it's mesh with the fly. But uh, yeah, so far so good.
morning. <laughs> no, I'm talking. I'm just... It's uh, very, very rainy this morning. What time is it? Let's see. It's a uh, quarter of eight. Oh my gosh, excuse me. It is quarter of eight and yeah, well, we have no service. So who knows what's coming today? Um, it was supposed to sort of be thunderstorming on and off, fortunately so far there's been no lightning, um, but uh, we weren't really sure when the forecast kind of kept changing, so I guess now. <laughs> You having fun? <laughs> Me too, I'm having the same amount of fun. <laughs> Lots of fun, everyone. Fun, 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 fun. Woo! Probably like, I don't know, what, nine o'clock or so, maybe? Like that. Yeah, I know, I don't even have my watch on. Um, it's raining like the dickens out here. And uh, yeah, not mostly that, but I like to think that I helped a little bit. Uh, Rejigged all the tarps. Obviously we woke up and they just had massive like pools in them because it's just been raining so hard. But not really all the way overnight. It just kind of started raining in the morning, maybe about 7.30 or so. Um, it's kind of hard to see the sky, so I don't really know what's coming up, but you know what, let's just assume it's gonna be more rain and then if it's not, great. But uh, yeah, so we got our little, we got our bug shelter set up as a tarp right here with uh, some of our stuff underneath it. And then over here, we have the other tarp set up as well. Um, that's the one that we needed to fix a bit more. It's quite old, so it uh, was a little little pouchy. It's a bit stretched. But yeah, um, Matt and Steph are still in their tent having a snooze, I guess, with their dog. Um, yeah, so, but you know what? I still want coffee. The rain doesn't make me not want coffee. <laughs> It's very extra slippy, so be careful, buddy. And look at you. You're so wet. Hey. Oh, that's so neat. You probably can't even see it on here. Um, but there's three really big birds out there on the water. And honestly, I think they're swans. They're swans or some kind of crane. Matt's gonna see if he can uh, take a photo of them. Maybe I can insert that. Yeah, cool, eh? this little pooch. Hello. Hi. Oh my god, how cute is that? Poor little Suki girl. She got a little wet, she got a little cold. Oh, uh, Lucy also wants you to know she's wet and cold too. Burr. Hi. Hello. Yeah, that's too funny. Are we having fun? <laughs> We're wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that is accurate. Okay, so a resounding no, no. from the team. <laughs> No, it's all good, it's all good. We got this little fire kind of going on here, um, doing our best despite a little bit of rain we're encountering. Um, clear up. Yeah, and it's supposed to clear up by five o'clock and it's like two o'clock now. It's gotta be like 2.10 now. So like we're really, we're getting there. <laughs> Tick tock. It's good, everything's good. Don't even worry about it. Hopefully we'll boil some water, do some dishes and make some tea. Oh, no. Got a little clothesline going on. Had a little tent flooding, so we're just dealing with that. No big deal.
So Maddie's out there fishing and he caught something. Oh, I could have to bit of a different one, maybe. <laughs> but it's funny because he caught two pike previously. Um, and uh, he thought they were the same one. So he just, he's like, oh yeah, I got some here. And he's like, it's probably that same freaking pike. Uh, but no, it's a, a bit of a different pike. Ugh. What a pooper of a day. It's uh, just been overcast and cloudy and rainy. And when it wasn't really rainy, it was like misty. And then we thought it was going to be a little bit nicer there for a sec. Um, and you know what? It kind of was. Maybe. I mean, the sun didn't really come out. Um, it warmed up like one degree. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just kind of chilling. I'm, st I'm actually like quite cold. Like this whole day feels like it should have been October and not August. It's just been such a like lazy day in the rain. Um, kind of reminds me of some of our our rainy but rad trips that we did in uh, Algonquin. So yeah, I'm just kind of chilling out here. I just have my, my fire going. I've had this bad boy going since probably noon today because we were all so cold and chilled. Got all kinds of stuff hanging under the tarp just to try to uh, to dry that off. And then a uh, little Buxy over here just having a little dog donut nap. The other two dogs are just down at the lake uh, with uh, Matt and Steph. Yeah, so... I mean, not very much exciting stuff going on here today, but hopefully tomorrow um, we're going to do a little sort of day trip into the next lake over. Oh, well, I say that. I think there might be like three like tiny little portages um, over into there. And I mean, obviously with no gear, that will be no big deal. Oh my gosh, excuse me. No sun today has really just like ugh, sucked the life right out of me. So yeah, it's probably like, I don't know, not even eight o'clock yet. And it's still pretty light outside. And all I want to do is go to bed. <laughs> Good foggy morning to ya. It is the second full day, so third day of our trip. I just have all these little poochies all lined up eating their breakfast here. So that's good, they, uh, they always get fed first. Totally fair, right? Um, yeah, so hopefully the fog's gonna dissipate <laughs> a little bit here once the sun comes up and kinda burns it off. Um, yeah, cause I really want to do a little bit of adventuring today off of this site. Um, it's not supposed to rain, but apparently it's not supposed to be like, beautiful either um but it is only probably like 8 30 or so so do you have hope that uh, there will be a clear sky today uh yeah so i want to go we're currently on ron lake um r-a-w-n and we want to go into buckingham lake so that's just a little there's art lake and then buckingham lake and that buckingham seems to be really beautiful there's like a bunch of islands on there and it's sort of like a sweeping lake and stuff so i want to go kind of check that out Mal wants to do a little bit of fishing so yeah hopefully we can uh, attain that goal today so i guess i better just kind of get everything going we sort of blew through all of our firewood yesterday we got like a really big haul but it rained all day so like you kind of need it right so i don't know if we'll have enough to make a morning fire unless I kind of go to a little bit of a bit of a search for some you know sticks and stuff off the ground um yeah we're gonna get more firewood when we come back from our day trip too so I guess either way we're leaving this island today <laughs>
Yo, that was really cool. So there were two sets of loons that sort of met each other in the middle of the lake um, and started sort of mingling and calling. And that was really, really neat. And of course, the eagle was still in the background. So I filmed, I was able to film some of the loons um, when they were really active and then they all kind of dove under. Um, and then as soon as I sort of put everything away, uh, the eagle took off from one of the treetops there. We've been watching him for a while. He's probably actually been sitting there for about 30 minutes. Um, and then he kind of flew down and took something out of the lake. So we saw where he landed and brought his fish. And then, yeah, I'm, I can see him now. He's like, looks like he's a hundred, you know, miles away, but just his little white head sitting in the tree. Cause we saw him fly from the rock right over to a tree. So this has been pretty cool morning for, for the bird activity here. All right, sweet. We have set off on our uh, little day trip here. So we're just heading off to the portage across Ron Lake into Art Lake. Um, it doesn't look like it's very long. So yeah, we'll just see what that has in store when we get there. Yeah, definitely people on that. I think we're right there anyway. Yeah, yeah. What I'm gonna do, actually. If you feel, I would like some space, please. I need you 360. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lucy, come here. Oh. What? You got something? Oh, look at him. Yeah. I have to get a big bass on. Oh, Ooh, yeah. That's a good bass. Not like tell a Tell me, one. tell me if you need me to Whoa! Oh. Tell me if you need me to do something with the boat. No, He's got a fish on. He's jumping out of the water. That's yeah, a decent sized bass. Stay. Bucky, sit. Sit. Starbuck, sit. Oh my gosh, Bucky. She's blocking it. Wow, look at that guy. We got pliers here. Sweet, you want to give us a little. Look at that. Very nice. The bass that. of Buckingham Lake. Oh, oh boy. Is. He's good. He's good. That was okay. That's a, I mean, the pike didn't really count because it was a little pike. Well, fair. Okay. That's my that's the best bass. Good job. Do you want to show the camera? Yeah, sure. Hi, little guy. This a little guy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yep.
the time. Yeah, exactly. No one's as good at the front steer, the bow steers, as little Rachie. Plenty of years of experience. Keep it straight for the team. <laughs> Little bass? Yeah, that's right. Is it a small mouth? Yeah, they're yeah. all small mouth. Okay. Bucky no. Ooh, just put the glove on, it makes me so nervous. He's not even hooked up much. Alright, yeah. Is that the one? Yep. Of course I do. Hey bud. Woo! Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Can you paddle back that way? Yeah, sure. Better than I thought. He's swimming. Oh, he's swimming at me. Oh, he's big. Oh, he's fucking really big. Oh, what? Oh, oh my, my god! god. Something tried to get him. Something got him. What do you mean? Like something tried to eat this something fish. Something was eating that fish. Oh. He's all cut. Use your glove. That is crazy. That's too funny. Oh my god, it's so big, it's so big, and it's this little three incher. Oh, yeah, something tried to eat him. Oh, oh my god, oh. this is a hole here. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Does that count as using live bait? Did you break the rules? Incidental. Found him. How about one over six inches? I know, right. <laughs> That's like the second largest one you pulled out here. It's like he, he tapped into the preschool oh no, of fish. Tiny. This one's like smaller. I don't know. I'm trying to not fall over. I'm not sure. Home, sweet home. We've made it back from our little loop, loop de loop there. Um, we grabbed a little bit of wood on the last portage as well, because uh, why not? Kind of saves us a bit of a trip back out in the boats because it is 5.30 already. Um, that was really fun. Yeah, it was really beautiful out there. Just kind of paddled around, Matt did some fishing. He had lots and lots of bites. Uh, nothing too crazy, but uh, some good looking, good looking fishies there. Um, I also got a bite, well, I got bit in. My hand is like completely poofed up. So hopefully with a little bit of rest and maybe half a Benadryl or so, that will uh, that will go down. Cause man, is it ever tight? Like it's not even that it, it hurts. It just feels like it's on fire and it's really tight. Like when I clasp my hand. So anyway, it's just like irritating cause I don't normally react to bug bites. So this is a little different for me. Oh well, still plenty of stuff to do despite that. All right, sweet. So we are just cooking up some dinner here. Um, in the tin foil, we have some potatoes. Uh, in the pot, there is some Annie's mac and cheese on the go. And then uh, my brother, Matt, just uh, devised this uh, stick and garlic bread situation here. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna give that a little grill. And uh, yeah, see how see how she does. Seems like it's gonna work. Yeah, maybe, okay, so pro tip, soak the sticks. <laughs> Before before you do that, uh, but yeah, hopefully I'll just keep flipping them, and uh, it should be good. 
Okay, it's a flash update here. Um, it's working, but it's not perfected. So prototype. there was, yeah, prototype A. Um, there was a little bit of tearing in the bread, uh, but you know, it's all good. It's getting a little crispy and at least it'll be warm. <laughs> Good morning. It's the uh, last day of the trip. It is uh, the fourth day. Um, <clears throat> quick update from yesterday. My hand is still completely swollen, um, kind of on the outside and on the inside. It might not be actually as dramatic, but it's the swelling is still there, but more than anything, like it really hurts. Um, my knuckles are very sore and I can actually barely even make a fist. So Paddling today should be a lot of fun. Um, that's okay. Uh, I'm not sure, like rest didn't really seem to help it. Benadryl didn't help it. Reaction didn't help it. So I just took an Advil this morning, at least to maybe like help with some of that pain. Um, again, it's not like, you know, crippling, but it's just a pain. It's just a pain. It's just like a pain in the butt kind of thing um, that I'm gonna have to deal with that today. And then hopefully it goes down because, you know, we still have to drive like 10 hours to Sudbury tomorrow um, on the way home and then another five hours home from Sudbury on Sunday. So hopefully this just kind of deals with itself over the next day or two. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything is uh, has to totally gone according to plan and we've had a great time. Um, my favorite part, I think, was going into Buckingham Lake yesterday um, just to do a little little cruise around, a little bit of adventure. Um, but yeah, this site on Ron Island, this or sorry, on Ron Lake, um, is absolutely amazing. I it's like five stars. I would totally recommend that uh, you know you kind of vie for this uh, this site if you were to come here. Um, yeah, so today we're just going to leave back the way that we came. It is, of course, a little bit windier today than any of the other days, kind of, so far. Um, but you know what? Hopefully it won't be too much of a headwind, because that does seem to be the way that it's uh, coming from, and we shouldn't have too much trouble getting on out of here. So it's probably only about 7.30 or so now. Um, I just kind of got up early, because, like, honestly, like, this pain in my hand, like, I didn't really sleep very well or anything. It's, you know, just kind of annoying. So I thought if I just got up and maybe just started moving around, enjoy the sunrise, uh, then I might not think about that so much. So I'm just going to start sort of maybe packing up some of the tent things. Things. Um, no rush to get out of here today, but I mean, couldn't hurt to just try to get ahead of it anyway, right? And it distracts me. Ugh. This is Rachel. I believe it's August. Does, yeah. it, does it feel like August, Rach? It's August-tober. <laughs> it's so cold. Just enjoying the dog days of summer. I'm <laughs> here in Quetico. Ah. Ah. Little breezy, little chilly, but a nice one nonetheless. Yeah, the clouds should go away soon, hopefully. And then it's only the headwinds! Woo! Woo! <laughs> hey, sweetie. You want some of these belly rubs? Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, baby. Hey, did you have fun? Did you have fun on our trip playing with your cousins? Hey? Yeah. Oh, Bucky. Such a good girl. <laughs> yes, as you can see, my hand is still quite uh, enlarged here. I guess, I don't know, it's hard to say if it's gone down or not. Um, maybe it did and then I started doing things. Here's my other bony hand in comparison. Um, I, feel, I feel like the weather lied to me. It said by 10 o'clock the clouds are supposed to go away, which okay. Okay, maybe they will. Um, but yeah, it's it's really windy. Like, just kind of just pick it up as soon as we want to take off. Um, right in the direction of travel, obviously, because how else would that go down, right? Um, so yeah, tent's just about all all taken down here. Or it's all, everything inside of it's taken down. I just have to take the actual tent down itself. Um, oopsie, put the hammock down. 
and just kind of pack up the bags. Um, okay, I just felt some drops of water. So that's great. I was already planning on keeping my rain jacket out anyway, just because you never know. It's pretty windy and it kind of just like blows the heat off of you too. So it's nice to have a windbreaker occasionally. Um, yeah, so just kind of finish up, finish tidying up the campsite here. And then, uh, yeah, get in the boats and start the, the journey on out of here. Pretty exciting though. I mean, obviously paddle, paddling's the best part. So even though it's a bit of a headwind, it should still be a good time. Ah, I'm just crashing into this island here. Um, so we just left our site um, on Ron Lake there. Steph and Matt wanted to try uh, paddling their own boat out of here, uh, which is cool. But uh, look at these waves, eh? Right around this island. We kind of just tucked here so we could wait for them. Um, as soon as we're about to leave is when all the winds sort of picked up. Hopefully once we get into the narrows it will chill out a little bit um, But we do still have Picker Lake to get through and that's actually quite large. So hopefully those guys are okay If not, I guess we'll just switch uh, Who's gonna be in the back or who's gonna stir and kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so wish us luck We're on our way out of here starting our journey probably about three hours or so. We'll see how much uh, time this wind adds on um, But yeah, that was a great weekend. Everybody's ready to go. So gotta set sail. So we've got like this little like maybe like a kilometer or so and then that's when it gets into like the bigger lake so okay. figured we'll stop here let you rest a bit Hi, how are you guys feeling fun. good yeah you're good, doing a great yeah. job it hasn't been too bad yet yeah I mean, no first, right? it's been, like, hard yeah, yeah. Then... totally you can hear it and like it definitely will start to pick up through here I don't know if we've seen the same one three times, sounds a little crazy, or if we've seen three different eagles because they were on three different lakes. Um, but yeah, pretty freaking cool. This was a great little trip. Uh, again, a little different than what we normally do. We're usually moving around a lot. Uh, I feel like this year though, we've kind of just been more like base campers and uh, you know, stayed at a spot for more than one night, but whatever, that's okay. Just do whatever feels right. Um, so yeah, Matt and Steph, they're just back there. Steph absolutely crushing it today. Uh, they wanted to do it and they're right behind us, so that's great. Little trials and tribulations, I don't doubt it, but who hasn't gone through that learning curve, right? So we are just about to enter Stanton Bay. Um, so it's probably another like kilometer, kilometer and a half until the uh, the portage, just some other folks that we're going into, so whatever, we'll just let them get ahead of us a little bit and they can 
you know, head off on the porch. I'd Hello. Oh. All right. Gotta get my act together here. Okay, cool. So yes, we have finished up the trip. Huzzah. So we're just on the portage out of Stanton Bay. Back to the parking lot. Um, ooh, almost walked in. Sorry, I had to slow down. I almost hit Matt. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're actually single carrying this time. We just want to get this done. Um, yeah, so that was a really awesome trip. I hope everyone can say the same. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know what? Thanks so much for watching as always, and we will catch you on the next one. With the Canadian flag in the background, are you kidding me? Are you happy to be out of the car? Yeah? I know, me too. Hey, me too. Yes. So happy to be out of the car and in our hotel. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. We are on the home stretch. We are finally, you know, in Muskoka, driving south on the 400. Everybody knows it. Um, yeah, wrapping up our week long road trip up to Thunder Bay and Quetico. Did you have a good time? It's all good. Awesome, yeah. So that was another awesome time um, up north. We are truly lucky that my brother is in Thunder Bay. Uh, it's sort of, you know, obviously a free place to stay, a bit of a jump off point to go to Quetico. Uh, so yeah, who knows uh, how many years more we'll, we'll be able to take advantage of that. But you know, two for two is not bad. So we had another great time up in Quetico. Thanks to Steph and Matt for enduring the trip with us. I know that's not something you guys are used to doing, but you did a great job, especially Steph. Gotta give a big shout out. She, she stirred the whole way out of there. And it was her first time and it was so windy and we can't give her enough credit for doing a good job with that. So uh, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here since we're only a couple hours away from home uh, and I uh, can't wait to kind of get home and veg out. So you know what, as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Check out the giant goose. Cause we all know how much I love a good goose.